Welcome back to the Dead Ball area. This time around we're going to look at Josh Bassett's first phase try for Wasps against Northampton in the Gallagher Premiership. Wasps have a scrum on the 15 metre line, and this creates a big blind side and stops Torala from defending out here on the open. Mitchell stays in close proximity to the scrum, concerned about Robson's ability to attack back down this blind side. An issue here is Wasps have loaded the entire open side, so there's no near side winger for Saints to worry about, and that's where the problems start. For me, the better option would have been for Mitchell to just drop off the scrum and allow Torala to come open a little bit more. But as the ball goes in and Mitchell comes round, we can see he stays tight and that he and Bigger are connected and ready to close the seam. As the ball comes out and the pass hits Gopov, Francis has picked up Umaga, but he's then held by Fekatoa's run. And likewise, Dingwall and Nairavoa have read the move, but react late to shut it down. It's a nice little pass to Bassett, who is in space and races in unopposed. If we swing the camera around, we get a better view of everything. Furbank has to push out to mark Kivridge and Minotsi, which means it's all down to Dingwall and Nairavoa to shut it down. We know that both Dingwall and Nairavoa have picked up the chase runners, and it's important they react quickly to that. And I'd have liked to have seen Saints be a little bit more aggressive here. Dingwall could maybe have swum up and around the corner early to meet and pressure Umaga, and maybe Nairavoa could have attacked in a little bit more just to meet Bassett or get in the vision of Umaga. Dingwall sits down so Umaga has all the control, and Nairavoa actually changes his line from in and just out to focus on Manozzi. And all this combined allows Umaga to time his pass and Bassett tears through for a beautiful strike move. In the backfield, we can see exactly how much space is left open by Torala and Mitchell not chasing underneath. And I think as soon as Robson moves to this open side, I think Torala could have pushed in behind the line and chased underneath. And the Saints will be a little bit disappointed here. The slide plays are predictable and there are a few decisions to be made and it's easy enough to shut them down if you just make that early decision. It's obvious someone in this chase group is getting the ball and for me here, Dingwall needs to pressure that ball as early as possible, try and force an error in the wet conditions. And Wasp will be happy with this. It's a lovely first phase strike move and Blackett will be very pleased with how easily Wasp were able to create try scoring opportunities with only 37% of the ball. That's it for this week. If you want to stay up to date with the other analysis articles and videos I'm doing, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks for watching and all your support.